Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our final quarterfinal matchup. The winner of this match will take on the Mexicans, Paola Longoria, Samantha Salas. Tomorrow will be uh, semi-final Sunday. This is Guatemala versus Ecuador. I'm Dean Baer. Joining me in the booth for the last time today is Mr. Gary Mazarov. We think it's the last time. Dean. No, th it is. <laughs> I promise you that. Hopefully we'll get a better match than we had the last two. Not much energy from a competitive from standpoint. Yeah, yeah. Indeed, indeed. So we have now Team Ecuador, Sarmiento, and Munoz. Martinez and Maria Renee Rodriguez. Maria Josie. I just, Jerry, I just changed your name, sorry. From a professional standpoint, that's it. Okay. If she wins the title, it's Josie. Okay, fair enough. Great shot by Martinez on the right side. Guatemala, the home club here, they're in blue. Light blue, I should say. <laughs> and Ecuador is in the back in the dark blue. After that loss yesterday by uh, Gabby, she wants to make it up in doubles. Yeah. And, um, th well, they're uh, from a, uh, from a seeding standpoint, they're the five seed, and uh, the Ecuadorians are actually the four seed. And we saw in singles, um, I believe it's Maria Paz Munoz. In singles, she played extremely well. And I've never seen, from a personal standpoint, I've never seen either one of these Ecuadorians play. Um, well, Maria Paz is a quality player. She's been on the team for, this is her second decade as a team player for Ecuador. Sarmiento is a junior player. This is her first hurrah, if you, if you will on the adult stage. Yeah, but you know what, having a, a, a seasoned veteran as your partner should be able to keep her nerves at bay, you know, under the lights here and the cameras and all that jazz. We, we talk about that a lot. Look at that serve by Gabby Martinez. She's calling it short. <laughs> she turned around and gave the referee a stare. <laughs> and uh, after the adult worlds have been completed, Maria Paz will be one of our professional referees for the juniors the balance of the junior event. Uh, skip Gabby. in. Skipped right in. 2-0. Oh, 0 0-2, I'm sorry. Check that. Great shot. Inside out forehand. Kisses off that deep Sidewall glass, the vidrio on this championship court, Dean. Drive Z coming. Deep left. Gabby took that very easily off the back wall. Wasn't a decent serve. Kind of ki kissed the sidewall, but when it came off the back wall, it kind of spun forward. Gabby was able to really just drive that into the corner. Maria Rene Rodriguez. These two have played doubles for quite a while. Wow, what a kill shot there. From the good start for Team Guatemala. Now coached by Paria. No, excuse me, Palomino. Senor Caballo. He calls me horse and I call him Caballo. Okay. 
Good save right there. Skipped in. I'll tell you, early in the game, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by the young Ecuadorian on the right side. Sarmiento. Cuenca, Ecuador. Ana Lucia. Hometown favorite serving right now, Guatemala City. That was a good wide angle uh, pass. Kind of hit the hit the glass behind Ana Lucia. And Maria Paz couldn't get a racket on. against the glass and good shot by Maria Renee. Oh, that was a... Let's see if the avoidable is called by Ricardo Gonzalez, also known oh, as... she's angry. Tuki She's angry. Kravitz. She walked up to the front. Avoidable was called. She's, I don't know if she's given... Gabby a stare or not, but it's 99% of the times if you ever get hit by the ball, it's usually your fault. Absolutely. Remind me to show you a photo of, of me. Anyway, she got the look. <laughs> That's a really good Z serve. See how uh, the young Ecuadorian on the on the right? She's got a she's taking too many backhands. Her feet are kind of tossed the wrong way. Six zero on the scoreboard. On the IRF scoreboard. The IRF scoreboard. So, sorry, how you say her last name? Saramento. Ana Lucia. Her? Ana Lucia. I say Lucia. Well, you're that's using my your Italian name. influence. Correct. <laughs> it's okay. Ana Lucia Sar Sarmiento. Yes. Another timeout. We'll take a break. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best. But uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm a little Beltran. Get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for the final quarterfinal matchup. There are no more quarterfinals, so that's how I know they're not going to sneak another one in. They're all done. This is the last one. Team Guatemala. Martinez serving 7-0, game one. As Sarmiento shows her angst, 8-0. Yeah, that's a tough serve. Uh, Maria Renee is really catching a good angle there. That's coming on the, uh, off the back wall, kind of right behind her. Now she shortened it up, so I like the change in height, speed, and angle. It usually fares well, as it did right there. Very intelligent serving by Maria Renee. Eliciting weak returns, and both of these Guatemalan players have the tools to put the ball away. And that comes from the Tom Travers School of Coaching. He was their head coach for 12 years here. That's going to be 
hashtag just a replay. We're at 9-0. Safety hold up, thank you for not swinging. And there's that wrap again, it's so tough. Anna Lucia is having a very hard time adjusting to the different serves from Maria Renee. Welcome to the world stage, Anna Lucia. Well, if anything, you know, a match like this will help her in her junior career. Certainly. And here comes a big setup. And Gabby's right there. Too Look many at left the get. Up. Too many left up pinches. Ooh, both Ecuadorians went for that ball. But if you can see during the rally, if, if Maria Renee has the opportunity, she's trying to go uh, front wall, left side wall to have that Z back to Ana Lucia, and it's difficult for her to handle. It's a very intelligent play. Front wall, side wall, kill. Point number 12. 12-0. 12 Score called by Tuki Kravitz. The cousin of Lenny Kravitz. He was named after Lenny, as a matter of fact. Good grab off the back wall. Oh my. Nice, nice. I was named after the legendary Dean Martin. Interesting. Not, not Frankie Valley? No. Name's not Frankie. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Lamos Guatemala. In the chat box. There is spin again. Good adjustment. Well, they replay. Hashtag Cero Repite. 13 0. Martinez, I believe, is studying, has been studying in the States for Maestria. Just down the line. Textbook, my friend, that's page three in the manual. That, you know, again, it goes back to, you know, Gabby's really shooting the ball well, but so far in game one, uh, intelligence from Maria Renee is where the, most of the points are generating from. Absolutely. We're gonna stay here, folks, talk a little about the tournament. This is the 20th edition of the World Championships for the IRF. Started in 1981 in Santa Clara. And here we are in 2021. This is the 2020 version because of COVID. So the 2000 22 version will be played next year. We also are piggybacking with the juniors. That's the 32nd edition. And we'll be streaming a bunch of matches this coming week. Resume play, game point number one. Guatemala 14, Ecuador zero. Switch sides from Ecuador. Maybe adjust for the serve. That up again. Oh, mis miscommunication, yes. Great minds think alike, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> Good get. Can't get that one. Game one in the books, 15 0. So, Gary, once again, we got to thank. Um, some of the uh, sponsors of the uh, of the broadcast here. One is Zurich Foundation, and also uh, Mania Athletics Court Wars, sponsored by, uh, presented by Williams Accounting. That's going to be a pay-per-view event, so you definitely want to check out for look for their commercial. And uh, also Planeta Racquetball. They strive to represent the worldwide community of the sport. They focus on introducing players and tournaments around the world. So I want to thank Planeta Racquetball. And Gearbox, the official racquetball of the International Racquetball Federation. The Gearbox Black. 
www.gearboxsports.com. They support not only the sport of racquetball, but many athletes as well. We'll take a break. We'll be back real quick for the start of game two on International Racquetball Federation. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Game two. Skipped in. Cambio. So the switch sides from Ecuador is going to stand here. Um, yeah, give Sarmiento experience on that left side. That's a front wall, side wall rollout. Nothing you could do there. As and you I said earlier, Dean, this is a learning experience for her. So let her let her get fully exposed to the nuances of the game here. Yeah, but what we also don't know is, I, I mean, personally, I don't know. I don't know her as a player in her junior side. Maybe she plays the left and she's more comfortable, and she just felt very uncomfortable. Never plays the right. Could be. And that's not going to work. Not in a high level match. It's a big skip right there. Point number two, two zero. Dos zero. That's a point. I don't know if that was a miscommunication or just flew off a racket. Point three. She got handcuffed with that, so it was a great serve coming across from the left side wall. Handcuffed Maria Paz there. Great down the line shot by Gabby Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final quarterfinal match. The winner of this match will take on Team Mexico. Paulo Longoria, Samantha Salas. Did that hit? Did, did that hit Gabby? Yes. Four zero. I, maybe. I believe I it did. I believe it, it a, did. Yeah, it was a hand out. The ball didn't. Co I, didn't I have the pole in front of me, but I didn't see the ball come out. And both Ecuador Ecuadorians are standing with their racket ready, and no ball. Look at that shot by Maria Rene. Front wall, side wall, roll out. Think the, Rosero. There's five. Point six. The points are coming by the buckets full for the Guatemalans. Gabby Gonzalez pounding serves to Sarmiento. Gabby Martinez. Gabby. Martinez, check that. Time Rodriguez, Gab Gabby <laughs> Martinez, yes. <laughs> and Maria Renee Rodriguez. Listen, Gabby. it's late. Gabby <laughs> Martinez, Gabriela this Martinez. This match is uh, 27 minutes in. <laughs> I want to see. I'm yeah, not thinking. I'm gonna th I'm, I don't want to know what you're thinking, but I want to know what you're drinking. <laughs> it's, it's the water. 
<laughs> so this is six hours we're here. Five matches, six hours. This match is about 27 minutes. Once again, want to thank the sponsors of uh, not only the event, but the broadcast, Planet the Racquetball, Zurich Foundation, Court Wars, presented by Williams Accounting. So thank you so much. And obviously Gearbox, the official ball of the International Racquetball Federation, Gearbox Black. Gearbox supports not only the sport of racquetball, but many athletes as well. Check them out online, www.gearboxsports.com. To our viewing audience, Dean, Pablo. There's many 10 a.m., 10 a.m. tomorrow. Seven matches will be streamed. 10 a.m., that's Central Standard Time in the U.S. Oh, and we've got another switch of sides for Team Ecuador. Nothing's working for them. Not um, yet. Not yet. No. That's a double wow. fault. Well, well, that's one way to win the rally. <laughs> I tell you right now. And now the two Ecuadors are, are Ecuadorians are talking in there, and maybe they're saying, "Hey, let's let's just get one. You know, let let's get that monkey off our back." And have look at start, that. Have nice to serve. start somewhere. Oof. Looked like a good serve. They were catching Gabby, walking up. She stepped back, really readjusted. She set her feet, and she buried that ball down the line. Maria Paz Munoz. Nick Lobb. It's a really good serve. Wow, what a shot. Again, decision making and intelligence from Maria Renee Rodriguez. Uh, I'm impressed. 7-0. What a great serve there, Dean. And a good adjustment from the seal. Great front wall, side wall kill. There's a really good adjustment from Ana Lucia on, the, on that, that wrap serve because she was having a lot of trouble with it. She read that fine. Oh, with the three wall boast, stayed up. Yeah. Great inning for Team Ecuador. No yeah. change in score, 0 7. That was a side out, not a point, so. Correct. We have to tell our producer. He got all excited. Set up Gabby Martinez. Nope, ceiling ball. Skipped in on a ceiling ball. Half the old uh, out. Proverbial straight up, straight down ball. Hand out. <laughs> Maria Paz from Cuenca in Ecuador, beautiful city. Let's see if she can find something, Dean. As she turns and tells the referee, make sure you watch that hash mark. Oh, behind Whoa. the back, but skipped in. Point number one. Ecuador is on the board. <laughs> Gary, don't get too excited. It's only one point. There we go. I'll tell you, Gary, you're much better than Fabio. Oh, she's. Sarmiento. A lot of communication out there. I like it. Two-handed backhand by Maria Renee. Again, she's doing her job. She's keeping the ball in play there. You know, when she doesn't have an opportunity, she's she's putting it up top, Gar Gary. That's very, very impressive. It is. Meanwhile, Guatemala serving 7-1 in game two. Maria Renee went really quick into the service box to serve. And that's a deep, really good deep serve. She doesn't want to delay the inevitable. Points. Just get in there and score. Yeah. They don't want extra innings. They're looking to get out of here.
8-1. This time she goes drive down the line. Winner of this match earns a berth in the semis. We'll medal. Great serve. Gabby skipped that one in. One of the few unforced errors from Team Guatemala in this match. Look at the court coverage by Gabby Martinez. Oh my, she in. wants that one again. Dropped it into the floor. 1-8. Strange things happen, Dean. Yeah. Reverse winner. Yeah, it's a, again, she's hit that shot numerous times here in this match. Again, I can't say it enough, just the decisions uh, coming from the right side of the court by Maria Renee has been uh, the difference maker here. Gary's, Gabby's the shooter. Marie's making very, very intelligent decision making with her shot selection. Good read. Wow. Maria Paz Munoz. Backhand <laughs> flat rollout. Dos. Sabiendo ocho. They've doubled their output. 2-8. Ball live. Nobody home, right side. Yeah, beautiful shot down the line by Maria Renee. Again, uh, Gary, decision making, shot selection. Maria, Maria Renee's on point here in this quarterfinal matchup. Eight two. Great serve. Great serve. Point number nine. It's tough to read that ball off that glass wall on the right side. Communication by Ecuador. There it is. Can they regroup? <laughs> Winner. Combination. Left side wall, front wall, side wall winner. Double digits for Team Guatemala, 10-2, game two. Nice return, Dean, by Sarmiento there. Yeah, she's... Obviously, she's the, the weaker link here, but she's got a, look how she just tracked it and kind of made the right shot. Perfect, and she got out of the way. Little things that add up. Next time they play together, they'll do better. Cambio, first server. Fist pump from Jose Luis Cueva, their head coach, Team Ecuador. Ana Lucia Sarmiento. Wow. No call. Maria, no call. Maria Renee. They're going to they're, 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 they're 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 appeal it. But just because she held her hand up, that doesn't mean anything. No, that's correct. Yet it's an appealable call. She can't appeal, there's no line judges, so. That's right, they can appeal to Team Guatemala, they're not gonna overturn it. <laughs> but the question is, is if she skipped it, would the referee give her the appeal, the, uh, would give her the replay? Because then, then the referee would, needs to set up and say, I'm calling, I'm, I was gonna call the, the replay anyway, the block or the, the hinder. Visual, visual hinder, who knows? We'll have to ask uh, Ricardo Gonzalez 
after the match. Yeah, you can stick some, around yeah. and talk to him. Get out of here. Front wall, side wall, kill out. Right there. Guatemala. You're not getting out of here till you clean up. <laughs> yeah. You think this is this is just gravy where we can just come in, talk, and go home? I'd like that, but it's not the case. 10-2, Guatemala. Short serve. Corta bola, segundo. That's a great Z. I don't know why she held up. I don't think she had anyone in her. I, I don't think she had anyone in her way. Maybe her partner. That's it. Or she was fishing for an avoidable. Oh, nice. Point. Great depth on that serve into the vidrio. Weaker return, weak return, and put away right side. Point number 11. Timeout, Ecuador. They're using the resources. They're using all the timeouts. Yeah, let's let's send a quick commercial, pay for this broadcast. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp. brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. We back. Sorry, and I'm singing, and you're putting the mic back. <laughs> Gary, and gentlemen, welcome here back. with Dean uh, and Pablo. Maria, Maria we're four points away from from moving on to the semifinals for for Guatemala, and for me to go home or to the hotel. Let's take uh, a vote. How many want at, Dean to go that. home? So Maria Renee had a broken string and. Her opponents from Ecuador said, hey, your string's broken. Could be a safety issue. And that's an official timeout, folks. Doesn't count as one of the team timeouts. They're entitled three, they still have three. Guatemala does, Ecuador does not. I should say two, two timeouts in each of the games. Good guess. Skipped in. We're at we're at twelve two, ladies and gentlemen. We're three points away from Guatemala moving on to the semifinals. That's a crack ace point thirteen. Thirteen two. What a great serve by Maria Renee. Changing up her serves very well, very deceptive. She's standing from the same spot in the service box, but yet she's changing the angle and where the ball's going. That's very intelligent. Set up coming, Gabby Martinez. Set up, Maria Paz. Look at the coverage by Maria Renee. Set up again. That's going to be Sarmiento. A, that's going to be a point. He came the proverbial dartboard for both Guatemala players. Match point coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have it. Corto. Corto or corta. I forget. Short's a girl. Go figure. Corta. High lob. No, half lob. She goes for the shot, set up. <laughs> and there it is. 
Rose. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gary, no more pleasantries. Hold on, folks. Maybe an appeal? No. No, here we go. Look at these two guys on, on we, the camera right got, here. We got the prompt. No more matches today. We've only been here for 22 of the 24 hours. Absolutely. We, no, not that bad. We, no, we're okay. Yeah, I mean, good we're, company. We're, we're, we're joshing. Yeah, so we, we had a good day. 15-0, 15-2 in favor of Team Guatemala. Too much firepower for Team Guatemala oh, from, for Ecuador. You got two young ladies, but they've been on this stage for years. Remember Gabby at age 12, Maria Renee, I think, as a 15, 16-year-old. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap from Guatemala City, Guatemala. Want to thank you for stopping by as always. We want to thank Pablo Farhe for being our control person all night. And I want to thank you guys at home for watching. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. We have semifinal Sunday all day long. Seven matches right here on the International Racquetball Federation. We'll be here. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Two